all the way through. And whenever I, if I forget, I get very mad at myself. But right now we got Kiwi versus Prince Kex. We got Fox versus Pac-Man. This is something that Kiwi is quite well versed in at this point. Um, I don't know exactly how many times Prince Kex has played against, maybe um, Miss Coast or Kiwi in brackets. But this is definitely a matchup that I hope he has been studying, uh, watching Kiwi and Light play each other every week, or almost every week. Yeah, it's definitely the matchup to watch. It's, uh, if you're looking for knowledge, you best be watching Light and playing Fox. One um, of the few areas in the world, really, who has this matchup first so often. Uh, if you're uh, planning to play a character such as, like, Fox and such, you got to know these obscure matchups because it's very easy to get comboed by certain characters, and for some reason, Pac-Man is one of them. Yeah, and he tried to reflect the fruit there, but just wasn't prepared for how slow it was, and Kiwi's just going to uh, snuff out the illusion with the forward smash and take the stock. Um, yeah, with Pac-Man, you gotta be able to get away or around all these projectiles. It's a massive wall and uh, not easy for a lot of characters. Fox being uh, heavy on approach might be a little hard at times, but he has the tools to deal with it. So um, the big thing right now that you're seeing is uh, a lot of footsies trying to play around Pac-Man's shield and uh, Kiwi with the, the raw up smash, uh, just calling out the neutral, the option of neutral and. Um, they're out of shield. Orange uh, tries to go for another up smash, but gets an up smash or up smash herself. Putting up the fire hydrant forward smash tries to go for probably a landing there, but gets a bear. Did a good job holding that down. I was trying so hard to get that tweet out fast enough, and I, I couldn't remember how to type. But right now, Kiwi continuing to please don't take a picture of me this week. Uh, okay, Kiwi doing a great job. Please don't <laughs> doing a great job Just continuing to hold down this lead uh, and establishing the print. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he was very smart to hold the um, shine there because if he did it, he would have hit by the bell from the water. Yeah, and you see the way that Kiwi controls the like the corner there. Just even though that didn't kill, she's continuing to establish fear out of Prince Cat. So it's like. What do I do to get off the ledge here? Do I go for side B? No, because this is lingering too long. And then once he starts committing to staying there too long, she's gonna drop down there and immediately go, that time go for the down air to the back throw. That was actually a really nice setup from Kiwi there. Yeah, very obscure too, to be uh, seeing something like that from a character who had no grab in the last game. Yeah, you know, every time I see it, even though we're like four or five, six, whatever, how many months in, uh, like six months now, um, it's still weird to me to see that move actually work from four years of watching it get people killed. Yeah, I mean, you don't really get anything off of it except for... Well, actually, no, you get up throw into up airs and such now yeah, early on, and you get back throw kills. They actually have an option to, to you know, to follow up now. Gotcha. It, it was really huge for them because being able to pressure on shield is one thing. Being able to actively bait people while pressuring on shield into a potential kill option, that's a completely another thing. That time though, Kiwi is gonna still live and can't, Prince Kex cannot find his answer to this first stock. Yeah, definitely struggling to find the kill here. Uh, reading the rollout with the orange. Back here, nice tech. Um, I think the big thing right now, but from what I've been seeing from Kiwi, he's kind of baiting back and then throwing out an option to punish the I like that cross-up uh, she went through from back here. I like the fact that like it seems like Prince Kex, even though he's this far behind, he's not really been too afraid to commit to going in. That can be the uh, detriment to a lot of players. Like yeah. It's like, all right, I got to rush in. I got to find my way in. But he slowed it down while fading in enough, and he was able to finally seal yeah, off that kill. It. But he's only getting one. Yeah, that's definitely something that she likes to do a lot. She has enough time to basically bait out the option. You think that it's about to end, but no. She can charge all the way to Bell and then just throw it in your face if you do something. And at that point uh, in time, too, when you're that far behind and you have two stocks up, you can opt to continue to go for those charges and take a smack every once in a while. Yeah. But you're going to get that kill option later. Uh, oh, I, I, I know I, pretty much every week, uh, everybody who's a constant viewer to the stream hears me say that when I'm here, do not be afraid to go for positive traits. If you have a situation where you're going to come out on top because you took some damage, but now they're in a kill position, it's better to do that. Uh, don't be afraid to, like, if you want to hold a perfect defense and not get hit at all, that's on you. If you can pull it off, great. But it's always nice to have the ability to have that option to stop somebody from getting that kill. And we got the color change coming out. Maybe he's trying to, you know, change up his personality a little I, bit. I still got to ask uh, Light later on why he went Red Fox the entire uh, Smash the Splash. Oh. I wonder if he's maybe doing, like, the boy thing where he punishes himself by using a different color if he's not performing to what he wants. I don't know. I'll ask him later. That sounds about right, yeah. Depending on if he wins, of course. Uh, but of course. 
Yes, I never assume anything. Right now, Prince Cat's doing a decent job of, even though he's at 33%, like, all right, never mind. He got called on his jump. That He's lucky he didn't die, but he has no jump. Kiwi's going to drop down and go for a back air, but that time he's not going to get it. Still trying to read that jump off the tech on ledge. Ooh, he lands directly in front of her, and he's got to be very careful with these jumps at the ledge, because even so, right there, because he missed with that side B, yeah. that all could have been avoided if he just tried to be a little bit more conscious about his jumps before he used it. Yeah, and right now he's he's throwing out that forward smash hard, trying to get like an option out from Huey, uh, trying to get a punish. Not gonna get punished for that because of uh, the positioning from uh, yeah, e yeah. Even with all that percent, like you, it lasts longer after you get hit with the belt, the higher percent. But she was off stage, so she couldn't get in quick enough. Luckily for him, he got away with the grace he's got on that. Trying to catch her, maybe potentially air dodging in. I think that's what he was looking for there. But uh, yeah. Kiwi not giving it to him, especially with the hydrant in the way. You're not gonna put yourself in front of it, but she's gonna get that first stock. Yeah, the. Uh, the power increase from the Hydra in the back here. Uh, this is not looking, it's like looking better than the last game though. He's definitely finding a little bit more answers. Uh, stage chase, uh, stage choice is definitely helping out. Yeah, I get the idea behind why he went here, but it's also a bit of a detriment uh, because presently Pac-Man, or at least Kiwi in particular, does really well on this stage. She's, yeah. she's understood how to utilize less space versus more because Pac-Man can actually box in this game. Oh, <laughs> you were about to get smacked because that was, uh, and, like at least halfway charge, but and see what that that good patience at the very beginning that Kex kind of yeah. had going for him. You can see now that he's committing a little bit too hard. You have to be yeah, you have to be willing to like not try and push the initiative too hard against a character who thrives on patience. Yeah, especially when you're falling this far behind, like. You trying to? Oh my god, that was so smart. <laughs> oh my god, that was god. so big brain. The option coverage on that was spectacular. Having the uh, the apple behind to stop a potential roll oh, away. Big damage. You land directly in front. You get grabbed into potential forward throw Ooh, or okay. back throw into the apple. He ha pretty much only could side be there, but he was able to finally get himself on the board with that side uh, the up match. Yeah, now uh, probably one combo from Fox can put Huey in the uh, kill percent. He just needs to find the right combo starter. Yeah, you know, it, it, ever thinking that the match is over against Fox is a way to lose easily. Yeah. However, <laughs> shine stalling without an extra jump or resource is also a way to lose uh, if you don't have a backup plan. TV saw through it and is going to get him directly out of here. I do like the small adjustments it seemed like Prince Kex was making, but the problem was when you play a long game against somebody who is entirely based around playing the long game yeah. without a game plan to go along with it, that's something that's going to continue to establish pressure. Things are not going to look good for you. I like my hair. I'm gonna talk about this all night. I, I hate when I look, when I look like like I I, I, I need sleep, man. Uh, what am I on? Um, I think I'm on like uh, my 20. Yeah, I said 22nd day in a row. You're how many days in now? I, uh, I oh, I had day, days off. You finally had some days off today and tomorrow. Yeah.